Hi there. Since our last update, we've been hard at work on Steam Deck, and we've got three pieces of news for you today. Number one, the official docking station is here. It has three USB-A 3.1 ports, a USB-C port for power, display port, HDMI, and a gigabit ethernet port. The docking station comes with a power supply too, just like the one that comes with Steam Deck. Use it at a desk, under your TV, or wherever you want to use your Steam Deck. It's available now for $89. It's the perfect way to connect your Steam Deck to power, an external display, and a million other peripherals. The official docking station is great for propping your deck up so you can see the screen. But if that's not important to you, you can totally use another USB docker hub. The work we did on SteamOS for the docking station makes almost all other third-party hubs work well too. Meanwhile, we've been continuing, as always, to ship software updates to Steam Deck, adding features and fixing bugs. To name a few, we've added new features for the docking station and other peripherals. There are new settings for scaling, resolution, and refresh rate, and added compatibility for displays, audio, and more. We've added on-screen keyboard support for simplified Chinese, traditional Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. We've also made big improvements to touchscreen and trackpad typing and responsiveness, both in gaming and desktop mode. We've redesigned two Steam input power features. Virtual menus let you invoke branching sets of commands in more complicated games, and mode shifting lets you remap your controls while you hold a button down. Offline mode has also been improved to make it much more stable and reliable. We'd love to hear from you about whether it's meeting your expectations. And the third item is our biggest news. Steam Deck is available now. Finally, without a reservation. It's been more than a year since we first announced Steam Deck. Wow, time flies. Since day one, everyone has had to get in line and wait just to order one. Supply chain issues kept us from producing Steam Decks fast enough to meet demand. But now, even though the rate of reservations keeps growing, we've been able to increase our manufacturing volume to meet demand. As of today, you no longer need to make a reservation for a Steam Deck. And if you hold an existing reservation, your Steam Deck order email is on its way. Of course, depending on how fast the orders come in, we might have to start taking reservations again, but we hope we can keep up. We are starting to take reservations in Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, and Hong Kong. We recently went to Tokyo and brought a giant Steam Deck with us, which was very fun. As always, thank you so much. We'll see you again next time.